everybody, Kate Crane here from England in the UK. Today I'm going to have a play about with this new 6x6 journal by Graphics full of Duralar pages of different um, transparencies. There's so many exciting um, opportunities here with the different transparencies. Ultimately this is bound by these little discs. I have picked out a variety of things to have a play with. So I've got my acrylic paints. I'm also going to have a play with some alcohol inks. I want to do some stamping and I've picked out a stays on ink pad. This is because stays on is solvent based and it will dry really well on any kind of plastic surface. And I've picked out my um, gel plate. So I'm going to do some printing. I've picked out one stencil a 6x6 six six stencil by Carabelle Studio and I'm just going to have a play around and see what I can do. One of the great things about disbound journals is you can start to move things around. So it comes with these two chipboard covers and you could actually just paint and decorate that as it is or you could make the most of these transparencies and I'm going to do first of all a gel print onto this transparency and layer it over the front. So I'm not going to paint this, I quite like the craft colour, I'm going to do something on the transparency to lay over that. I want to create a rainbow effect here, so I've picked out my colours and one of the important things is keeping the colours clean when you're using the brayer. So I've got a piece here to brayer off. Now I'm going to clean off the brayer I'm going to leave that stencil in place so I should just pick up the polka dot pattern I've picked up my polka dot pattern and if I just lay that over this craft cover you'll see how that really makes those colours pop plenty more to do on there though one of the nice things about playing with these transparent pages is you can make use of both sides. So I've pulled out my stamp platform and my stays on solvent ink and I'm going to stamp this larger stamp on the front of my page. picked out a smaller stamp I'm just going to touch up around some of those little gaps I'm going to add some alcohol ink to this now if I put alcohol ink on the front where I've got my stays on ink the alcohol will actually remove that ink because that's what alcohol does, it cleans. So what I'm going to do is playing with this transparency, I'm going to put some alcohol ink on the back and that will show through and then my stamping will sit on the top. I'm back to my gel plate, same stencil. You could of course do this with any stencil and I'm going to do a very casual throw of alcohol inks onto here. Then I will have a choice. As I pull the stencil up, I can either pick up the alcohol ink off the gel plate or off the stencil. And I'll have a look and see how it looks before I make that decision. So I can either pick up from there or print from what I've got on here. Yeah, that's picked that up really nicely on there. So I'm going to put that to one side to dry. And what's left over here, I'm going to pick this up on one of the white pages. I've got some really nice clear layers on there. I'm going to put that to one side to dry because while I've got the alcohol inks and the gel plate out and I'm getting a bit messy, I'm going to do another background and I'm really just using the gel plate to help me get some ink on my stencil. If you don't have a gel plate, you could really just do this on a craft mat. Same again, I'm using the same colours just for a bit of consistency.
So I now have three backgrounds. I'm going to do quite a bit of finishing off layers. Just make sure that everything is nice and dry before you move on. I'm going to add some more layers to this one. This one is going to be my cover, so it's going to sit on top of that craft chipboard. And I've picked out a white Posca pen. This is a fairly fine tip, a PC1M, because this Doral Art will pick up this paint pen really nicely. And I'm just going to add a few doodles, maybe some circles, some petals, little dots. I'm keeping it nice and scribbly. A little bit of stamping so back to the stays on I'm just bringing in a craft mat and I've got some and uh, this is some calligraphy ink here you could do this in ink or in paint actually I don't think it really matters I'm just going to get that bit out of the way before I get too messy and I've just got a bottle lid here to pick up some of that ink And now I've got a finer brush. I want to just pick up a small amount of ink. And to finish this front cover off, I've picked out a collage butterfly, which I'm actually going to stitch on. Because this Dural Art is so resilient, it's really easy to stitch through. I'm using a gel medium to attach those quotes, and then I'm going to stitch that butterfly in place. So there is my cover now. I've stitched kind of a random zigzag across that butterfly. And now I'm going to put that to one side. And here is my stamped and alcohol ink page. Where I've got this circular design here, I'm going to bring a butterfly in here. Just kind of ties all these pages together. And I'm going to stitch that down first and then add some more layers. Of course, you don't have to stitch. You could staple on there. You could even just glue it down with gel medium or whatever. I just like loose threads. There is my butterfly stitched and that means he can have his kind of wings free. I've picked out now um, a clear embossing had. I want to see if I can do some heat embossing. I think I can, as long as I'm careful not to overheat um, and buckle this page. I've got a pen lid here. You can only do this once everything else is really dry, otherwise embossing powder is going to stick to anything that's just slightly wet. first page I added some white pen this time I'm going to try with regular white acrylic paint and just a bottle lid again now normally the alcohol ink might soak through this top layer of paint but remember the alcohol is on the reverse the only thing on the top of the page is my stays on ink that I did the stamping with One other thing, the final thing I like to add on pages often is some strong black marks. So this is my Stabilo All Pencil. And I'm going to leave that page there and move on to my final page. Here's my third page. I quite like how this came out slightly unfinished. It gives me a bit of space to play with. I'm going to go on as I did before with a white Posca pen. I've got another butterfly image ready. I might put that central. I've got a quote as well, but I'm going to play about a bit first.
that's with a little bit of stamping thrown in around the edge as before. Now I'm going to try my Stabilo woodies. You can try whatever you have. These are, again, these will write on most surfaces, including uh, glass. So if I pick out, the colours that I originally started with were a red, a yellow and a blue. Yep, more than blue. And I can add a little bit of mark making in colour this time. And then back to my Stabilo pencil as well, just to balance things out with some dark marks. Now I've got some ink again. By repeating similar things across the pages, the pages are different, but this kind of ties them all together. I've changed my mind about position of the butterfly I've decided to put it down here and this time I'm gluing it down flat because I'm going to add a quote right across the center. Something else I think will work really well on top of here is things like liquid pearls that give nice dimensional dots and also stickles. It should dry really well. This is on the opaque white. Should dry some nice dimensional dots and plenty of sparkle too. And now all that's left for me to do is piece this together with the discs to bind the journal. It's really interesting though when you start playing about with the different coloured pages because it makes a huge difference how you layer these. Look what happens to my transparent alcohol ink over the black. The paint one stays fairly bright but I still prefer this one as the cover on the craft. I hope you've enjoyed watching, I hope you enjoy playing along. I think this is the sort of project where you can play about with your regular art supplies and just see what happens. Thanks again, thanks for watching.